My brother and I are best friends and we do everything together. We play sports, video games, scheme our parents, hang out, fight, and everything else that brothers do. In our early high school years, both my brother, Brad, and I were growing up and getting bored of the lame things we did for fun in middle school, like playing video games. We needed something more dangerous to show our toughness to our friends. Luckily, Christmas was just around the corner, so we begged and begged and begged our parents for airsoft guns. At first, they were firmly against the idea, but eventually they trusted that we could be responsible. My brother and I had to agree to wear safety glasses and never shoot each other while using the guns. It may be a lapse in my parents' judgment, but my parents are not air airsoft connoisseurs in any sense, so we searched for the most powerful guns we could find. My brother picked out a sniper rifle, while I picked out an AK. Both guns had powerful ratings of 500 FPS, which means feet per second. So we added them to our Christmas list and anxiously waited. On the morning of the 25th, lo and behold, the airsoft guns were under the tree. Filled with excitement, me and my brother ran outside to test them. My dad ran after us yelling, remember the safety classes and do not point the guns at each other. We were outside in the backyard shooting targets for about an hour, but the targets were just too easy to hit. It was just getting a bit boring shooting at the Coca-Cola cans we set up on our wall. So we packed up and went inside. A few days later on New Year's Eve, we had a party in my house and invited all of our friends. Proud of our new airsoft guns, we snuck out into the moonlit yard to show them off. Obviously, we didn't wear the safety glasses because we didn't look cool in them. After a while of shooting the random targets, we got bored again. The little plastic balls you're we shooting couldn't hurt that bad, right? It was decided by the group that my brother Brad was going to take the bullet and test out the power of the sniper. I obviously volunteered to shoot my younger brother. Brad rolled up his jean pant leg, closed his eyes in fear, and turned around. I took two steps back, closed one eye, looking down the barrel of my gun, and shot his bare leg. My brother started squealing like a pig, hopping around the yard on his one healthy leg. Then he collapsed onto the grass and laid there for a minute. To maintain his toughness, he tried to hide the tears from the edges of his eyes. After he calmed down, we investigated the wound. Upon further inspection, we noticed that the pellet broke the skin and he was bleeding. At the end of the night, the red mark had turned into a golf ball sized dark purple bruise. He covered it up and went to bed. A few days after the incident, my mom discovered the horrifying bruise on my brother's leg. She questioned him and then brought it up with her dad. Apparently, I don't know how they got there is not a sufficient answer for my parents. Eventually, a revised story was told to my parents by Brad, and luckily we the airsoft guns weren't taken away for very long, but strict regulations were put in place, and my dad started to keep an eye on us a lot more. <laughs>